Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Knight, it is really great talking to you today. I really enjoy it old. I had no idea where it's going, which I really loved about it. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Look at your background. What, what am I looking at? What, what is <laughs> this all is all that. This is our movie collection. It's all real pieces. Here's some of your movies, but these are all real. It's our collection. Wow. Is that your house? Yeah, it's our theater room. We have like a built-in theater room in our basement. And our wow. Room, yeah. Amazing. Oh, thank you. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> now, I was surprised to learn that this is based on a graphic novel. How do you balance keeping that faith, making it a faithful adaptation while still adhering to your own vision as a director and writer and storyteller? You know, by the nature of a kind of a graphic novel, it has a lot of uh, incompleteness to it, uh, it, it, as the forum does a lot of times. And uh, it's a very kind of um, almost a, it's almost like a haiku. It's very poetic, the, the graphic novel. It, it doesn't have an ending. It's very kind of open-ended. It's a kind of, you know, you have these moments that are in the movie that I loved, you know, what happens to the kids and, you know, the dynamics of the suspicion between the characters, things like that. But it felt like a great opportunity to create a mythology underneath it. And there was a couple frames in there, if you go and look at the graphic novel, that gave me the idea for the rest of the movie. Oh, nice. I'm going to have to like look into that. Now, I kept thinking throughout the movie, like how sometimes we get so caught up in our own lives and drama that time kind of passes without us realizing it. How do you slow down and be present in the moment? Oh, such a good question. It's an ongoing thing. I know that, you know, that our phones are the kind of almost the 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 the, the, the portal to hell. It's like the it's like <laughs> how not to be present. It's this is it. This is. You know, yeah, here it is. Don't be present. Buy this. Don't be present ever in your life. Keep scrolling. Um, keep scrolling. Yeah, keep scrolling. scrolling. <laughs> yeah, don't be here. So I try to do things that require participation on my side. So not the being passive, you know, is even when I make movies, I'm trying to make you guys um, participate in the art form bit rather than me doing all of it. You have to kind of lean and be part of what does that mean? Oh, she's off camera. What does that mean? Why is there no music here? Why is he panning here? All of those things. It, you, you're active, you're active in the moment. And so I read a lot. That's, you know, kind of my, that, that's a little bit of my meditation every day. I read every day. I read, I read a book a week, n no matter what, where I am. And that's, part of like centering and being there. And I, I find that quiets me, uh, 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 my mind down. I really felt that participation in this because of how you shot it in the cinematography and how like there were scenes of people's backs or like kind of in the frame. And I was like, we're gonna pan out soon and it's gonna be drastically different than we last mm. saw some of these characters, yeah, which, which I loved. Now you shot this during the pandemic and you said that some of the, the limitations were actually kind of a blessing on you in the process. Can you speak more about that? Well, you know, it just so happened, you know, the type of movies that I make, which are, I make small movies, I fund them, they're all in one location, they typically aren't, you know, big casts, there isn't thousands of extras, all that stuff. That type of movie was the only kind of movie you could make in the pandemic, and it, this particular movie was all outside, on a beach. So it, it, everything about it was kind of custom made for the moment there, but I, I love limitations, you know, I, I want, I'm always how little days can we shoot this in? You know, what's the simplest way to shoot this? Um, you know, every department, I'm like, find an answer with the limitations. I promise you more money is not the answer. <laughs> we, and and I, fi I find that what ends up happening is you become very disciplined about a language when you have a limited resources. And that means, look, when, when I do my job correctly, you guys master the language of that particular film and you're fluent in it. But if we're doing all kinds of different things, it's harder to hold on to it. I don't think it's as sticky to you. That's why when we guys, we see like sometimes independent movies or small movies, they stay with us so for so long because the language is so clear and, mm -hmm. and, and sticks to us. And so I try to bring that to these kind of summer temple movies, you know. It's again, we're, we're opening up against Marvel and this movie and that movie right. and the, ro the Rock and all this <laughs> stuff. And, and I'm like, I don't know, how about some people and some dialogue on the beach? What do you guys think? <laughs> so Crazy concept. <laughs> Uh, no, I got the rap signal. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. I hope people enjoy this movie. I, it was really strong. And I love your cast, too, by the way. They were fantastic. Thanks, brother. Thank you so yeah. much. Really fun yeah. talking to you. Oh, thank you. Take care.